do you make a cork travel from one end of the bathtub to the other? Turn it into a motor. And to do that, you'll need, besides a large cork, a large hair clip, paper clip, rubber band, two little plastic beads, some modelling clay, and a disc made of plastic, which could come from a food container or a drink container. Let's start with the disc and see what you do with that. You turn it into a propeller which is not surprising if we're going to make that cork move. And after you've cut the circle, you then cut a line halfway into the centre from that side and from this side and at right angles to those two cuts and the same on the other side. And then you cut little nicks from the corners of each of those blades. Do that all the way around and then press one side upwards of each blade and the other side downwards. You'll end up with a propeller that has four blades. There's a finished one there which is made from yellow plastic. You can see when it turns it'll push water or air in one direction as long as it turns smoothly in one direction. Now you'll notice that I've attached to the propeller part of the paper clip. In fact first of all I broke the paper clip in two like that and then I bent this with my fingers so that it made a little hook that went through the centre of the propeller and it came up the other side and there's a hook on the other end and you'll notice that I've placed those two little plastic beads there. That's the part that'll do the spinning. Now we needed to make a bracket to hold the propeller and that's where the hair clip comes in. First of all you straighten out the hair clip, make it long and straight like that and then bend one of the legs of that hair clip around a nail about halfway down the leg. Bend it around like this into a tight little circle and straighten it out, take it off and the beads are going to sit against that little circle. Then make it into a U shape, long there and up here. That's the part that will hold the propeller. Now you need to do a little bit more bending and twisting until it looks like this. There we are, you'll notice that the circle juts out a bit on one side of the U and on the other side it's deliberately bent inwards. Now that attaches to the cork. If you like, you can cut a little V-shaped groove along the cork. You'll see why in a moment. But you attach this to the cork, let's see, by pushing one end in here and the other end in there. Then the propeller, the hook on the propeller goes through that hole. Then your rubber band attaches to the hook, like so. Goes around the back of the U-shape and then here's the tricky bit, it goes back onto the hook again, like so. Now, you can see that if I turn the propeller in one direction, the rubber band starts to twist. Sometimes rubber bands are called elastic bands because anything elastic, when you push it out of shape, it goes back into its original shape. Rubber's not the only thing that'll do that. Even glass and steel will. Okay, I've given it about 20 turns. Watch what happens when I let it go. It acts like a little fan and actually pushes air out towards my hand. Now when that goes in water, it'll be pushing not air, but water. And it'll slow down quite a lot. I wonder if it'll move itself along. Before we do this, I need to attach something to it because without a heavy weight at the bottom, it's going to flop all over the place. So it needs a weight or a keel. Any shape will do, but you'll notice I've made a wing keel. Right, once again, about 20 turns. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Sit it in the aquarium and see what happens. Well, it moves around, but it goes in a circle rather than in a straight line. So it'll never make the length of the bathtub. What we need to do to it is attach it to something that'll give it direction. What better than a toy boat? You'll notice that I've placed a large rubber band around the toy boat and now you can guess why I placed the groove in the cork so that it'll sit nicely on the bottom of the toy boat. Reattach our little bracket and once again bring it over to the aquarium and give it about 20 turns. Won't need the keel this time because the boat will sit in the water nicely by itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and we're ready to launch it. And it goes slowly but surely. 
and without too much trouble, you should be able to make that little toy boat go the length of your bathtub. When you finish that, why don't you see if you can make that same little motor power a block of wood or even a mousetrap across the swimming pool. We are